morning what is going on guys welcome back to another vlog ghost coming at you um, today we are going to go try to get the tire mounted because I'm attempting I really want to see what it looks like we've got to get some uh, calipers for uh, the first gen so we can put those on pull those out and we're going to pick up the steering box for Colossus today and rip that off of there today hopefully get all this done fingers crossed if not I have to work on it throughout the week but I really want to get it done because um, I have other plans I want to do and stuff. So, further ado, let's rock and roll. You ready? Yep. You sure? Yep. You positive? I'm positive. Is that coffee? Yes. Does it have a, like a, a lid on it? No. Are you going to spill it? No. I feel like you are. I love you. I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> can I have $5? Why does everybody always do that when I say, can I have $5? All right, so we're gonna go in and buy some parts since it's probably gonna be expensive, but gotta do it. All right, so we just got the parts. Um, $414, but we get, it's 175 core, and then on the calipers, it's a $18 core on each caliper, but they're lifetime, so that's always good. So, we're gonna go see if we can get the tires mounted. I gotta pick up a couple more things. We gotta go to Walmart, I gotta get some, uh, it's cheaper getting antifreeze and stuff at Walmart than it is at a parts store, so we're going to do that. Let's try to get these tires mounted. So, let's go. Alright, so this is like the second time we've tried to get tires mounted at Walmart, but they are having a sale. And it, today's the last day, and the woman said that she wrote out 12 cars already this morning when they first opened. So. We are not getting that. I don't know what it is. Something is not letting me get uh, getting that mounted, but that's all right. So we're gonna go get our stuff and everything, and I'll just put the old tires back on. And then when we get everything else in, we'll uh, go ahead and just put uh, get them all mounted at one time. So let's go buy some uh, antifreeze and power steering fluid. All right. So um, I went picked up the calipers. Um, for the first gen so we can slap those on. I've got the steering box for the For Colossus um, now it is an OEM storm a steering box. So I know it ain't gonna be the best but um, Later on, you know, we are gonna go bigger tires, but this should work for now um, I would have just had the red top steering box, but it's just everything crept up on me too soon So I couldn't have time to do it um, So eventually we'll change it to a red top, but this is good for now. Um, it wasn't but Without the core, I think this was around um, 175 or something like that. So that's not bad. Um, I got some power steering fluid. It does come with the stop leak in it, so hopefully that works. I got three of them. Probably going to need more, so probably should run to get more. Um, the Razor needs some uh, antifreeze. And I did buy this because I had a couple people tell me this stuff does work. There's a couple ways that you, uh, that you put it in. Um... So we're going to basically do a couple different rays with the seafoam for the first gen because it ain't been seafoam. It ain't you know it, it needs cleaned. So we're going to do that later on. That'll be another video. Um, so we got all this stuff to put in. So let's go ahead and get to it. And uh, I know like I, I was trying to make the vlogs every time I got tools. I mean uh, new parts and stuff put in, uh, brought in. Now I do a vlog, but sometimes you know we go for a while without having new parts put in but we still have stuff to do so i'm trying to do vlogs that's you know basically anytime i'm working or anything and does include some live stuff that i'm uh, doing vlogs that way i kind of get some vlogs out there because i love doing these like to be honest like i always wanted to be a vlogger youtube uh person a vlogger um but of course you know like the gaming took off and everything so i do gaming and you know off-roading so i do uh, basically i do everything um i'm not a master mechanic i know stuff to get by with um you know if shown once then i can do it i'm really good at learning and stuff like that but we'll go ahead and uh all right cool thing about this is um on new parts even come with new pins and everything so we don't have to use the old ones or old bolts um when I, when I first changed calipers, I couldn't get it to bleed correctly. I tried and tried and tried, and on my second gen, the caliper, you can put the right on the left and left on the 
uh, right. And the bleeder valve was down below, so it's always getting air. The bleeder valve always has to be at the top. I did learn that. After like two hours of saying, something's wrong with my truck, I know it is. Always put your bleeder valve on top. Good little tip. All right, so we got the um, we got a pedal. Uh, we went ahead and uh, bled it. Um, got this on. It's kind of weird, like because you don't actually bolt it back there. You bolt it from top. That's the old school. <laughs> um, got new brakes on it, so we are good there. We'll go ahead and put the wheel on. Do the other side real quick, so we can pull <laughs> cold. Yeah. Pull cloths the sand and start on it because we are going to start running out of daylight here soon. But we got lights and heater, so we're good. But. We'll go ahead and uh, put the wheel back on and be good to go. Button, button. So, we got Colossus in, I had to pull the razor out because um, I needed it over right in the middle because this is on this side over here is where the uh, steering box and everything is, if you can see it, right there. So that's where we're going to be working. 
Um, so we'll go ahead and crawl in there and see all we need. We're going to scoff the truck with the wheels and everything. Uh, good thing is we don't have to worry about the truck being too low. We can actually sit up under it and work on it. So I'm always, I'm glad about that. Uh, but we get the new steering box. Put that in. Um, we got to take the pitman arm and everything off. I'm hoping it's going to be an easy install. Fingers crossed. And we also have a piece. Let me get that. All right. We're also going to be installing this. I ordered a while ago. This is a. Um, it's kind of like a. It beefs up your steering. Uh, your pitman arm where it goes into the box will. Uh, be run on a bearing so it's just not the arm turning also so I'm hoping that kind of helps that out a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and rip into this Alright, as you see when we're taking, uh, taking uh, the pitman arm off, a pitman arm off, um, it's already leaking, so it has been leaking. Went ahead and took um, the uh, uh, steering shaft off. Um, it's just, uh, I think it's like a half inch bolt or something like that going all the way through. Then I took a screwdriver and just put it between it and just picked it right off. And as you see, it's it's loose it's off basically um now i had to break these there's a 23 inch i mean a 21 inch socket 21 inch 21 socket um basically i took my breaker bar and i put a pipe on the end of it and they broke all simple so we just got to go ahead and finish taking these out now i haven't unhooked the hoses yet i ain't gonna have it drop down just a little bit and then i can unhook the hoses uh, when we get ready to drop it down, we'll put the jack under it with like a, a piece of wood or something so it does hold it. Um, yeah, so we're getting it. So as soon as we get this one out, we get the other one put back in. We get the hoses hooked up, bolt it all up. Should be good to go. Shouldn't take too long to do, hopefully. All right, so I got my jack here. Um, basically, we got our lines. I got everything off. Like I said, it's three bolts bolted on there. Before we bolt it up and cleaned it up and painted it that way where it's mounted to is clean and painted um we just got to go ahead and take these out now what i did was oh here's the new one i put a piece of tape over that hole and i know this one goes to it just so i won't forget now i, I say they're probably different sizes just in case i have that so we'll go ahead and take those apart and then take it out and then we'll be putting the new one back in it's uh Pretty simple, it's just time consuming. And plus, this thing was heavy, so I used the jack to kind of hold it So I because I couldn't get up there with the wrenches. So uh, I just did that. That way I can go ahead and pull that. And then, of course, it's going to drain, um, but we have new. All right. Um, got the box out, or, uh, the steering box and everything. Got the new one over here. Um, the only thing is, with the lines, uh, this right here has a little... I don't know. It's a little indention there. And that's where a hose. It might be because where it was sitting so long. It might be one of the reasons it just had a kink. Um, I don't want to put it back on and then have problems out of that hose later on. So I'm actually going to run uh, to AutoZone and get uh, both hoses to go in. So it'll be all new going up. That way it's just uh, ease of mind because I don't want to do it and then it messes up again. Uh, another thing is we're going to have to flash out here. Uh, unbolt these because i got that bracket to go across now here this has been welded and i'm thinking the bolt broke so they welded it so we're gonna have to grind that out and then we might actually spot weld or just re-drill it and uh try to put a different bolt in it and because well, i got a tap and die set we might just do that uh because we do have a long play a little bit of play there and then the other bolt right there so we do have to take that out but that'll be after all this is bolted up and then we'll bolt this on and of course we have a bearing that the steering will ride on so we gotta go do that all right guys so that is going to do it for today's video it is really cold out here right now um it doesn't look like set late i've got i'm gonna run and get that 511 that's not bad but i actually have to go inside and do some recording too so we are done today with the vlog i think we did good we got the gearbox out uh the brakes changed on the first gen 
everything so we're good to go um tomorrow like i said um i might go actually get the hoses tomorrow morning come back throw that in and hopefully we can try it out and be ready for i thought it was sunday it's actually saturday so it kind of took a day away from us but we're getting it slowly we're there. He's like in blankets. I'm like in t-shirt and shorts. It's actually pretty chill out here. Anyways, guys, hope everybody's having a great uh, day, evening, night, whenever you watch this vlog. Anyways, guys, this is Ghost and Katie, <laughs> and we are out of here. Yeah.